Hello crafters! This is not just the season of Christmas and cold, but it's also the season of getting sick because of the cold. So I thought it would be great to create a get well card just to have one on hand because you'll never know when you need it. I am stamping this beautiful boot from the um, Gnome Me stamp set by My Favorite Things. And I'm also stamping um, a few butterflies from another stamp set by My Favorite Things that's called, um, I think, Things with Wings. All the products are listed in the video description below. And today I just want to show you how to create nice dimension with your Copic coloring. And I'm starting out with the darkest color and I'm choosing a really, really, really dark color to lay down in my shadow areas. And then I'm coming in with lighter colors to add to the lighter areas. It looks rather awful in the beginning because the blending isn't perfect yet, but you can go over it numerous times, so that doesn't really matter. But as you can already see, by using a very, very dark green where the shadows would be, I can create the look of dimension. It really looks like the light is hitting this boot from the upper right. So the part of the boot that would be furthest apart, uh, away from the light, which is the back left, um, is darkest. And you can see me adding some dark here, which means that the front part of the boot is a little, um, is casting a shadow on the middle part of the boot right here. And I wasn't entirely sure how, how I would do these parts, that why I left, that's why I left them for last. And that's totally okay to do, you don't have to figure everything out at, in the beginning. And you can see me here applying the same idea to the boot as I did to the rest of the, um, to the rest of the boot. My god, this is really difficult to explain. I hope you at least, like, when you see what I'm doing, you can follow along, <laughs> it makes sense. You can see me here just darkening up some of the shadow areas again, simply to have better contrast. Now, I uh, sponged some ink onto my card base here, so I would see that through this opening that I cut with the My Favorite Thing um, Jumbo Peekaboo die, and I'm just trying to figure out where my boot will go. I put some foam adhesive on the back, so when I lift this up now, the boot will be in place. And now I can put in my butterflies and the little bug there that I've also colored. Last but not least, I also added some dots with my black um, gel pen here. Just some tiny dots for additional interest. I don't want them to be the main focus of the card, but I think they just add just the tiniest bit of interest to my card. And I'm also enhancing the stitching here on the image itself to make it a little bit more pronounced because it was a little bit muted by the coloring I did on top of it. And that's actually already it. It was a really fun and easy project to create. Um, not a lot of science to it. And you know, you, here you can see the close up. I added some glossy accents to the bug and to the flowers simply because it would make them shine a little bit more. And I didn't do like fancy coloring on the leaves or anything. Here you can see the fine stitching that you can get from the My Favorite Things die. And I added some half pearls into these scalloped um, edges simply for, you know, so it looks a little bit brighter and hopefully will help the person that will receive this card to get well soon. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you taking the time and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.